welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing the luxury handbag tag. I was tagged by a friend here on YouTube and also on Instagram. I actually met her on Instagram, I believe. So I will leave her channel up here in the cards and also her video. I'll also leave it in the description box, of course. So you guys should definitely check her out and show her some love. Let her know that I sent you there. I'm sure you will love her videos just as much as I do. So before going into this video, I did want to do a disclaimer. If you don't like handbags, luxury brands, and things like that, kindly click out of this video. You do not have to watch it. I have other videos that are not bag related. Also, there's thousands of videos on YouTube that you can watch that are not bag related. So kindly click out of this video if this isn't your thing. But if you do love bags and this is your thing, then keep on watching. So the first question is, how many handbags do you own? And I actually should have counted before doing this video, but I really didn't. I kind of just like guesstimate. Um, also, I don't know if like luxury includes like Kate Spade, Tory Burch, Coach, but to me, I'm including them because they are designer handbags. So with that said, I have about 10, I think. I've gotten rid of a lot. So yeah, I think I have about 10 handbags at the moment. All right, so how do I store and organize my handbags? I keep most of my bags in my closet and I actually like having them undisplayed on the shelves. I like keeping them out so I can see them so I can use them more. Also the ones that I'm currently rotating at the moment, I do keep here in my office. I just got a new bookcase so I like to display them on there. And yeah, that's just how I store and organize them. Okay, my first handbag purchase. Okay, designer-wise, it would have to be my Dooney & Burke bag, which I bought, I think I was 19 when I bought that. I'm not sure, but I did a what's in my bag video with it. I think I did a haul too, I'm not sure, but I will leave the link down below in the description box if I can find it. Also in the cards, I'll have it there for you guys to click on. But yeah, I, I do remember doing a what's in my bag with it. And that bag was so, so, so cute. I love that bag. I used it for so many years. I even brought it back with me when I went to the Philippines, I think 2011. I went back to the Philippines and I brought it back with me. I brought that one on my first cruise. Like I brought it with me everywhere. That was like my favorite bag. I just actually sold it last December. Yeah, it was last December. I finally parted with it but that bag was beautiful when i sold it too it was still in really good shape like the vachetta on it was just beautiful it's just that bag was definitely durable like it was it's a really good bag <laughs> okay, next question is what is your newest handbag now some people might not consider this as a handbag because it is actually an slg which means small leather good on louis vuitton but to me, it's a handbag because I can fit all my necessities in it and I do wear it crossbody and I just, that's all I wear. So it would have to be this little guy right here. So this is the Pochette Accessoire from Louis Vuitton. This is in the Verni leather. So it's like coated, it's so shiny and beautiful. And I have it in the color Rose Angelique, which is a beautiful baby pink color. Now this is limited edition. It came out a few years ago, so it's not available anymore. I did purchase this pre-loved on the Louis Vuitton group that I mentioned to you guys before. If you're interested in that group, I will leave it down below. You guys should definitely check it out. But um, I love that group. <laughs> so yeah, I got this there and I'm in love with it. I'm like obsessed, you guys. It is in such beautiful condition, like ugh, stunning. Like there's no flaws to it. It's just flawless. Like the it's still like gold and just super clean. I love this bag. Oh look, I got the matching wallet as well. It's just such a beautiful bag. So yeah, this is my newest handbag. Um, I just have the Pochette Felici chain strap on it at the moment. Uh, it usually comes with just like a short leather strap, but yeah. 
the moment I have the chain strap. Next is my most expensive handbag. It would have to be my Louis Vuitton Speedy B20 in the emprunt leather. Oh, I love this bag so, so, so very much. I got it in Paris and it just means so much to me. This is seriously my baby. Like this one, I seriously baby because like I cannot... I don't know what I would do if anything happens to this bag. It's just stunning. She's the cutest, cutest bag ever. I did a whole video on this, so if you want to see that, I'll leave it linked down below and also in the cards up there. All right, my most dramatic handbag buying experience. I don't really have one. I mean, there was one time that like my card was declined. I was like in New York with my girlfriends and I had forgotten to call my bank to tell them that I was traveling to New York for the weekend. So when I go to make like a big purchase, I think I was trying to buy the Tory Burch buckle tote bag. Um, I think it was about like $300 or something like that. My card was denied and I was like, what? Oh my God. And that was like the only card that I had at the time that I had brought with me. And I was freaking out, you guys. Like, I didn't know what happened and it was a Saturday. Good thing it, they were open at that time. And um, my best friend that I was with, um, her mom works for the bank. So I got a hold of her and she fixed it for me. So I was able to buy my bag. But for like the first like 10 minutes, I was like freaking out. I was like, what do I do? Yeah, so it worked out, but that was really, that's really the only time I don't really have anything like super dramatic. Maybe, hmm, I don't know. Is that dramatic enough, you guys? Like, oh, I don't know. Let me know if that's dramatic enough. All right, my favorite current handbag store obviously is Louis Vuitton, but at the moment, I'm actually like, I've actually been staring at like, Chloe and Dior, I just feel like their handbags are so feminine and so beautiful and I love the colors and all the hardware that they do. I just think it's stunning. So those are my two favorites at the moment. Yeah. All right, my current favorite handbag at the moment, it would have to be my Chloe Mini Marcy bag. Just because it is so carefree, literally I can wear this with any outfit and not have to worry about it. It matches so easily and also I don't have to worry about color transfer. It fits all my necessities. It's just this beautiful leather material. It's just so nice and squishy and I just love this bag so much. So yeah, this is my current favorite handbag. Least favorite handbag. Now, I feel like I'm gonna do what everyone's been doing. Um, I don't have one that's a least favorite because I wouldn't keep it or I wouldn't buy it if I don't love it. Um, so all my bags I love. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm just gonna show you a bag that I don't reach for that often, which is actually this bag right here. I did a whole video on this like a few summers ago. And I used it a whole lot that summer, but ever since then I haven't really, so it's just been sitting in my closet. It's still like in perfect condition. It looks brand new. I take really good care of my stuff, guys. Like it doesn't even have any scratches, but I do love this bag. I mean, obviously I love it because I kept it because, you know, I've been just getting rid of my stuff recently just because I... I'm trying to declutter my life <laughs> but this one I just really can't part with it it's such a beautiful bag like it's very structured I love the shape and the size is perfect um, I think it's the color that is very restricting for me um, I find it hard to mix and match with a lot of my outfits like I can't really wear this with anything unless I'm like wearing like an all white outfit that I can do but anything else I'm like I don't I can't wear it so I haven't really been reaching out for it and it's beautiful you guys like it's in brand new condition so I don't know maybe one day I will part with it but as for right now um I'm gonna keep it in my collection I do have the strap on it of it still um but yeah it is a beautiful bag from Kate Spade next is my next handbag purchase and I actually have three handbags on my wish list at the moment and the last one that I'm going to talk about is actually my dream bag. So it goes on to the last question as well. So first, my next handbag purchase. Now I don't know if I'm actually going to buy this next or if I'll just skip these two and then go on to my dream bag. But these two right here are from Louis Vuitton and they're beautiful. I believe this one's called Iena. I don't know if I want the PM or the MM, and this one is called the Propriano. It's brand new, it just came out, it's beautiful. Oh, I love the braided like handles, I think it's stunning. 
So those are the two that I'm kind of debating at the moment. They're very similar. Um, I don't know which one I would actually get. Now, I'm, I wouldn't get both. I would just get one of these. So yeah, I have options, you know? I've never tried them on. I've never seen them in person. That's why they're on my wish list. <laughs> so yeah, I really just love them. I love how they look and I've seen them on other people and I think they're beautiful. So those are the two that I have on my wish list right now. Again, I don't know if that's really my next purchase or if I would just skip that all together and go on to my dream bag, which is actually the Diorama bag from Dior. <sighs> I love that bag so much. I was actually trying it on, playing with it while I was in Europe. I will insert photos. Um, but yeah, uh, I really wanted the kind of like beigey nude color with the champagne hardware. But sadly, they did not have it in the size that I wanted. They had it in the medium size, which I'll insert a photo of. I tried that on, I thought it was beautiful, but it just, the size was just a little too big for me. Um, I just felt like it looked a little funny like I mean it was beautiful the bag itself but on me I'm like it's a little too big like I feel like I'm carrying like a messenger bag I don't know it's just I just felt too big for my my proportion like it just didn't look perfect I guess I don't know um, it was just too big for me so I tried the small one that they have but sadly they didn't have that color in the small size if that makes sense so anyways I did try the small one which I'll insert over here Oh my gosh, that one blew my mind. I loved it. That's like the perfect size. So I just really wish they had it in the medium color. But anyways, I almost got that one though. That light pink is beautiful. And I was told it was like limited edition or something like that. I didn't get that because it was just too flashy. I really, really, really wanted to. Like I didn't want to leave the store. Like I was just like, I want this bag so bad. But realistically, I would never wear it. And... It's just too flashy and you know, I'm the type of person that if I pay that much money for a bag You best believe I'm gonna wear the crap out of it, you know, so yeah, that one was just too flashy I would never really wear it. I live in Wisconsin guys. So yeah, you don't see people wearing Dior bags around here <laughs> so I'm like I, I, I would never be able to wear that. Um, so yeah, Hopefully one day I will find the small size in the nudie beige color with the champagne hardware combo and uh, hopefully I find that one day sometime soon hopefully and yeah it's just so beautiful I oh dream bag you guys I swear yeah and I believe that wraps up this video <laughs> I hope you all enjoyed it uh, I hope I didn't blab on too too much if you have any questions or video requests feel free to leave it as a comment down below thank you so much for watching don't forget to give this video a thumbs up it really helps out my channel and also if you haven't please do subscribe here on my channel I would love to have you back here I upload every Tuesdays Fridays and Sundays again thank you all so very much for watching I love you guys and I'll see you all soon in my next video. Bye!